Dean, we're back on the road and we've got a long trip up to, to Halifax. Uh, how's preparation gone for it? Yeah, um, recovered well. Um, the only uh, injury situation we've got at the minute is Ben Everton Richards is ill. Um, so he's a, he's a question uh, question mark over him whether he'll be fit tomorrow. But we've got uh, we've got Reese Greenish back and Sam Beard back, which are major bonuses for us. So hopefully we can get some continuity within our selection as soon as possible. And that gives us a better opportunity to uh, to gain more positive results. A clean sheet is is a positive thing to to build on from uh, Tuesday night's uh, performance. What else are we looking to to take from that in, into uh, in, into Saturday? Because we we created quite a few chances. I felt. Yeah, I thought, look, we started the game sloppy. They sort of caught us out with our formation, Kings Lynn on Tuesday night. Uh, so the first ten minutes wasn't good enough, and the last ten minutes weren't good enough. In between, there were some good spells. Started the second half excellent. Our intensity was outstanding, and when you're on top, you've got to score. And probably midway through the second half, you're thinking it's, it's going to be a night. It looked like it was only going to be one win. I got just disappointed with our concentration. I spoke to the players about that on Tuesday morning. And it's something we have to improve on. Uh, we can't give up opportunities like that in the last five minutes of game. So, And then we have to score one on top. That's so important. But, you know, if you had said to me this time last week, you'd pick up another couple of points, you moved up another couple of places, and the division would have took it. So, all in all, it's it, uh, taking the positives out of it. We're 16th at the minute, and we need to continue to pick up points. How do you feel like that changes in, in terms of when we get the chance in front of goal? How, how do we have that killer instinct, do you feel? Yeah, look, it's, you know, we've been working on finishing this week. Uh, Efron got himself in great position, so did Coxie. Um, you know, the boat sort of been out for a long period, a, a longish period, so they're, they're coming back to full fitness. It just takes a little bit of time. I've no doubt I believe in both players. Adam Marriott's a box player, as we know. He just looked a little bit tired on, on Tuesday night as well. So we've gotten some good positions. It's just about um, product and quality, but sustaining them high fitness levels and it sort of see we faded a little bit in the last few minutes, which is, it, it's not disappointing to understand them because we haven't had a consistent selection all season. It's been stop start with selection, changing of, of players. It's, it's, been a, it's been frustrating. How challenging has that been for, for yourself? You already touched on it there to, to not have the, the consistency that you would have liked. Yeah, everyone wants to pick the same back four, the same defensive midfield, the same goalkeeper. It just hasn't worked like that for us. We've just got to soldier through it. We've just got to walk our socks off and walk our way through it. Um, that's the only way you can do it. So, you know, we look forward to the next game. You know, just on Halifax, really good side, in a great position in the division, obviously trying to gain prom- promotion. Very well managed. Um, they play with a real intensity, a real purpose to their play. So it's going to be a really tough game. So we've got to step up. Every team in this division has frailties, and hopefully we can uh, we can expose them. But we have frailties; they'll try to expose ours. But we're looking forward to the game. We did a really good game here last time, nil nil. So hopefully we can perform to sort of that level again. It was, it was been announced that Josh Payne is, is the part of the club. What was the, what the uh, conversation been like with with him, and, and how did that come about? Yeah, it's, it, we've been in conversation for a while with Josh, to be totally honest with you. Um, he's in a position where he wants to move on with his life and I, I don't think he sees football as being his main his main uh, earnings anymore. Um, so the position he's at in his life and where he is in his personal life, it was better that we went our separate ways. And you know, I want to thank him for what he's done for us. Uh, he's given his all, he's been a very good professional, he's been with us. So we wish him well in his personal life and in his, whatever he decides to do football wise. And we've got an, a, another long trip for our supporters uh, to, tomorrow and, and they'll be with us uh, writing their numbers uh, to, to get behind the lads again. Yeah, we go up north and we're going to thank them for the, when they travelled to Torquay last week. They, you know, We gave them something to sing about, which was important. We would have liked to give them a victory on Tuesday night and hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Uh, we all just got to keep sticking together, keep driving each other forward and uh, hopefully we can come up with the right result.